How's it going guys, it's Kay Cars, and in today's video we're going to be installing a front grill guard for my 2023 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon 392. So if you guys aren't familiar with what I'm talking about, here's a quick picture. So as you guys saw, it really kind of makes the front end of the Jeep look a lot more aggressive and I really like how it looks. Now the 20th anniversary version of the Wrangler 392 actually came stock from the factory with that front grill guard. Now I've been searching for the front grill guard for honestly the past few months and I wasn't able to find it on any website. That includes websites like Quadratech, Mopar Parts on Sale, Mopar Overstock and all those different Mopar websites that sell Mopar Parts. They were all out of stock and on back order with no estimated time. After a few months of searching, I actually stumbled upon an eBay listing. Now, to be honest, I'm one of those people who never actually trusted eBay. Not really sure why, but I stumbled upon the listing for the front grill guard from a dealership in Michigan. They had two remaining in stock. I guess that they bought a whole bunch of them and just had them laying around because I was looking for months, like I said, and no other website had it. So like I said, they had two in stock. I bought one of them and then literally the next day somebody else must have bought the last one because it went out of stock the next day after I bought mine. So MSRP for the grill guard is around, I think it's $455. I got mine off eBay for around $500. Should be a super easy install and just attach us to these pre-drilled holes right here on the front bumper. Here's the box that it came in so we're going to go ahead and unbox this thing. So it looks like all the bolts are right here. Right here it came with some quick instructions as well. So here's the actual grill guard. Let's go ahead and take it out of this plastic packaging. So it is a good bit lighter than I was expecting actually, not really too heavy at all. So right here in the instructions that it came with, pretty much all you have to do is remove eight bolts from the stock front bumper, put these little two washers on both sides of the grill guard, and then just put eight bolts into it and bolt it down, it's as simple as that. And then if you do want to take off the bumper end caps from the bumper, they also do have this little attachment just to make it level with the surface of the bumper without those end caps. So here's everything it came with. These right here are those little washers that go underneath the actual grill guard. We have these little rubber things and those go in the holes on the underside of the grill guard. And those are just meant for, I think, to run wires if you have off-road lighting, for example. We also have these spacers right here if you are running without those bumper end caps. And then of course we have the eight bolts right here. So I'm just going to start off by putting those rubber pieces into these holes since I don't have any kind of wiring to run through the grill guard. There we go. There is also a company called Maximus that makes a front grill guard for the Wranglers as well. It is a little bit more rounded and more thick and I just prefer the look of the Mopar grill guard just a little bit more. The Maximus one is a little bit cheaper. I'll put a picture of it right over here. And also link it down in the description below. So if any of you are looking for a front grill guard for your Wrangler, but it's still on back order, then that could be a good alternative for you. Next thing I'm gonna do here is remove the eight bolts where the grill guard is gonna bolt into. This is gonna be a T45. Now we have all eight bolts taken out. Right here is this little washer thing that I was talking about that goes in between the bumper and the grill guard. So it's just gonna go right here on the outside portion. There's no wash or anything for the inside two bolts right here. And then also if you don't wanna run this end cap right here, they also would include this spacer right here. So you would put this spacer right here first, and then the washer, and then the grill guard would go on top of that. Since I have my bumper end caps, I'm just gonna use the washer just like that. And then the grill guard is gonna go right on top of it. All right, so we can go ahead and line up the holes right here should be good and we're not sure why they have this third hole right here because there's nothing to actually attach into it I guess it could be if you are running a cable from the bottom of here there is a little hole right there so I'm assuming that's probably what that's for is to run a cable through there you just have to drill through the bumper right there to utilize this hole so it looks like it's pretty well aligned right there it's gonna center it a little bit more here all right I'd say that looks pretty good now we can put in the first bolt just gonna get it hand tight in there. 
I'm going to do the other side here just to give us some more stability of the entire grill guard. Just going to get one bolt started right here, and then we can work our way around the entire grill guard. All right, now I'm just going to continue working my way around the grill guard and just fill in all the bolts. are hand tight I'm gonna use the ratchet and go ahead and tighten them down so we got the grill guard all installed here I think it looks really good like that I feel a very simple install but the only downside is that there's not really much room for a ratchet in this space right here so that was just a little bit difficult and a little bit time consuming as well but overall very happy with how it looks it's you know, obviously very sturdy, you know, solid steel right there to match the steel bumper as well. So very happy with how it turned out. Of course, it looks very good. And it's gonna help to protect that front grill right there from any kind of off-roading, like if there's a tree branch or something like that, or any bushes. Some people call this thing a brush guard. I like to call it a grill guard. And yeah, like I said, it looks very good. I also do make a smaller version of the grill guard, which just goes I believe from here to that side right there so it's not as extended as this one here but that one is just meant to be like a winch guard so if you have a winch right here that would just go over it and protect it like that so eventually i would like to get a winch i will still keep this grill guard right here i just like the bigger and more aggressive look of this one and yeah like i said i think it definitely looks very good with the grill guard installed definitely adds a whole lot to that big like beefy and mean look of the 392 especially with the hood scoop up there definitely a very good looking jeep in my opinion if you would like to get a winch sometime in the future i would like to get a worn just not sure which one i'm kind of deciding between the evo 12s or the xeon 12s so if anybody has any suggestions or recommendations for either of those two definitely drop those down in the comment section below i still do wish that i was able to get the front camera but as you guys know, whenever I placed the order, it just was not available along with the headliner. But of course, with the headliner, I did install my own full headliner from Cover King. And I think it's a lot better than the factory Mopar headliner because the Cover King headliner covers the whole entire ceiling instead of just like the little panels that it comes with. I believe this grill guard here is also meant to serve as a mounting bracket for auxiliary lights. So you could mount them right here. And then there are holes on the backside right here to run the cables through there. And of course, you could also utilize any of these pre-drilled holes in the bumper as well for lights as well. And as you guys know, we do have those four auxiliary switches on the inside of the Jeep. So all you have to do is wire it up to those. You don't have to do any kind of drilling or install any new switches on the interior of the Jeep because those are already pre-wired and pre-installed into the Jeep. So they make it a lot easier. Let me know down in the comments if you guys have any suggestions for any future modifications you would like to see on my 392 here. We have a few things planned for the 392, including an overnight trip. We are actually going to sleep in my 392 already have a mattress specially built for the back of a JL Wrangler. So I'm definitely looking forward to that and you guys definitely want to make sure to subscribe so you don't miss that video. That's going to be it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed this quick install tutorial on the front bumper grill guard of my 392 Wrangler here. If you have any questions or comments make sure to drop those down in the comment section below and thanks for watching.